Hi right, guys, Dip and Diesel back. This is um, a video that I didn't really want to have to make, but as you can see from the title, last night after I got done filming the brakes and stuff like that, I uh, pulled it back in this spot and then you guys saw me working on the brakes at night, right? But before I started working on the brakes, after I pulled it back in this spot, um, I uh, had it running and I popped the hood up and I was just checking everything out, making sure everything was running good. I know a little bit of coolant leaked out when I tried to change that thermostat gasket and the water pump gasket. So um, I was going to fill up the coolant if it needed coolant. And uh, I took off the radiator cap and I saw some foam. I'm like, well, it's not good. So I know if your coolant is running low, sometimes it will foam up just from it circulating like that when it's really low. So, grabbed another gallon of coolant, poured almost a full gallon of coolant in the radiator, and uh, had the truck still running. And um, I stuck my finger in there. It wasn't up to temp yet, so it wasn't that hot. So I stuck my finger in there. My whole finger is covered in foam. And uh, it looked like it had a, a gray tint to it. So I was thinking, oh man, dude, blown head gasket. That's why the truck is smoking. Got oil in my coolant now. I didn't check the dipstick last night um, to see if there's any coolant in there but it was foaming it had a you know gray tint to it so I was really bummed out after that so I shut the truck down went inside and then a couple hours later I came back and started working on the brakes after I got home from dropping my girlfriend off of work I came back out here and my neighbor came over so we came over here started talking about the truck I took the radiator cap off and the coolant looked good. There was no oil or anything in there. The coolant looked like I just poured it straight out of the gallon. So we got to talking. I took the dipstick out. No water, no coolant in there whatsoever. The oil looked brand new because it was brand new. I just changed the oil. If there was a lot of oil in that coolant, it would be really foamy. So we took that radiator cap off. It was clean. It looked like I poured straight out of the gallon. And um, yeah, it didn't have any signs of oil. So I started the truck up for him and I let it run. It started to get a little bit foamy, like barely any around the sides. But you guys know when you go four wheeling and you take your four wheeler through some mud or water or whatever and then you drain your oil, it's, it, you guys know what it looks like. Oil didn't look like that. The coolant didn't look like that. So I'm not sure if we have a head gasket leak or since we didn't replace the valley pan on the engine, I'm not sure if that's leaking i'm gonna admit that we put the rtv on wrong so my buddy mike that's been helping me he bought a valley pan for me so he's gonna come over tomorrow but i'm not sure if we're gonna have to replace that or not yet i still have to look into it a little bit more i'll hop out and show you guys in a second what the coolant and the oil looks like you guys can kind of help me figure out what's going on one it could be that valley pan because we didn't replace it you guys were telling me that's the gasket for it and you need to replace it if you go and change something out so it could be that that's leaking uh, leaking coolant into the oil, vice versa. Um, it could be a blown head gasket. It, the truck the truck is smoking a little bit. Um, I can't tell if it's sweet. If it smells sweet, that's mainly if it's burning you know, coolant. If it's, it smells oily or whatever, it's burning oil. Um, I can't really tell what it's smelling like, um, but it is smoking, so you know, it could be the valley pan, could be the head gasket. Last night, when that happened, I was really bummed out because I wanted to take this truck for a drive for you guys. And when he comes over tomorrow, Mike, we're gonna take a look at it. And if it, and if we think it's safe to drive, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing for a drive. So you guys will see a video on Sunday. If everything checks out, there'll be a video of us driving this on Sunday. So don't worry, we'll get to that if no problems happen. If we do have to change the valley pan, uh, we'll change that out and then take it for a drive and see. I ordered two head gaskets from AutoZone just in case I have to change the head gaskets. Um, but yeah, let's hop out and show you guys the coolant, show you guys the oil, and show you what is going on with this truck. I'll go ahead and start it for you guys and try to show you the little bit of foam that's coming up. It's not a lot, but the coolant does look good, the oil does look good, so I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, let's go look under the hood. So I just had this truck running about 20 minutes ago. And uh, you can see down in there, you can't really see, but the coolant looks good. There's no signs of oil in there. 
I wish I would have recorded just a little bit of the foam. I sent it to Mike, but I didn't save the video. When we do get it running tomorrow, and if it does foam up, we'll show you guys that. But I'll start it here in a minute, and we'll see if it foams up at all. The oil looks good. There's no signs of coolant in there. Oil looks good. The oil would be all foamy if there was coolant in the oil, and it looks good. So I'm not sure why it's smoking. You know, it could be a lot of reasons why, mainly head gasket. Why it's smoking, that little calf running around over there. But, and right now, I don't know why it's foaming up. I did, when I replaced the coolant, because we drained it all out, I went ahead and added, I accidentally bought some concentrated coolant instead of the 50-50. So I poured a gallon. I think this takes 12 quarts of coolant. So I added the concentrated gallon, and then I added a gallon of well water, and then I added a gallon of 50-50, so 12 quarts of coolant. Filled all the way to the top, ended up leaking some out when I was doing the um, thermostat, like I said. So I added another gallon of 50-50. One theory that I have, which I was talking to him, his brother owns this house, or this trailer, and I was talking to him. One theory I had was when I added the concentrated and added a gallon of the well water, I figured with all the minerals still in the well water, because it doesn't go through a you know, water treatment plant or whatever, um, I figured just that was making it foam up. Um, that was one theory. Another theory was, you know, the valley pan was leaking and oil was getting into the coolant that way and making it foam up. Um, another theory was the head gasket. So let's go ahead and start this engine. We'll let it run for a little bit and see if we can see the foam. I know as soon as I started it up with him, it was foaming a little bit. It just wasn't foaming a lot like it was last night. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up and then we'll check out the foam. She starts up good though, that's one thing. And I was keeping an eye on the coolant to see if it was getting really hot if that water pump wasn't working or that, uh, that thermostat wasn't working, but it's not getting really hot. It's going like right in the middle, which where it's supposed to be ran. Um, Alternator's charging, I guess. And then I got low fuel because I only added five gallons. Oil pressure's good. So we got oil pressure, we're good there. But the only thing I can't figure out is why it is foaming. But it's not, like it doesn't, I can't tell why it's foaming. I stuck my finger in there and smelt the foam. It didn't have an oil smell to it. Um, but yeah. This truck is running pretty good. I do have a leak on my water pump, my gasket that I made. Um, there's a leak. And also with the gasket that I made for the thermostat is leaking, but it's barely any. It's not that big of a deal right now, but it will have to get changed in the future. Trying to get that coolant flowing to see if it gets foamy or not. Yeah, I'm not sure why it was foamy last night. My guess is it was either low or, you know, me and you can see it's foamy a little bit down in there. See that? But, I mean, it has a little gray tint to it, like it'd be oil, but it's not, like, I don't know. I guess that's just normal. But yesterday, like, I stuck my finger in there, my whole finger was covered in foam. It's just it, yesterday, it didn't really smell like oil, but if I, like, this, this amount of foam isn't compared to what I saw last night. I was freaking out last night. I was like, God dang, I blew this head gasket, and now it's freaking, I got oil in my coolant. So I'm not sure what was going on last night. Everything's looking good today. It's just last night, it was, I was like, man, I blew this head. But, um, tomorrow, once we get it moving, driving and stuff like that, we'll check it again and make sure everything looks good. Let me know in the comments below 
why I would be getting foam in my coolant. Um, I'm guessing the main reason yesterday was just because it was a gallon low. So I know that you know if you run low on coolant, it starts to foam up. It's just I'm not seeing any foam, you know, up here that would indicate there's coolant in the oil. Uh, I'm not seeing like any foam on the uh, cap or anything. So you know this with the smoking, you know, it could have a slight leak. There could be a slight head gasket leak, which is the reason why it's smoking, or it's just running really rich. So I'm not sure, guys. Let me know. I listen to you guys a lot. A lot of you guys were giving me tips on the brakes last night, so I really appreciate everyone that has commented tips. Uh, people are saying that I got it wrong. Always have the hub on when you're trying to bleed the brakes, or you can blow out your wheel cylinder. And um, yeah, so I really appreciate everyone that has been giving me tips on last video about the brakes. Uh, we got it. My neighbor came over and he spun the wheel for me as I adjusted it and we got a pretty good, we want a little bit of friction, but not a lot. But he was saying he's he's like late 70s and uh, he was saying that this is really good for the brakes. If, he, if this was his truck, he would have the brakes like that. So when Mike comes over tomorrow, we're gonna add more brake fluid and bleed all four brakes. You know, we don't have brakes in the back yet because I think the wheel cylinders are bad, but we are getting fluid out the back um, bleeder valve. We're able to bleed out all of the air out of the system on all four sides and hopefully we'll have you know brakes. I adjusted these so they should be good to go. Cross our fingers. Um, we don't have any leaks that I know of. That wheel cylinder on this side was leaking a little bit. It may still be leaking. I might have blown out that wheel cylinder yesterday. Um, but yeah hopefully we're gonna have brakes and um, yeah, we should be good to drive this thing. When I was in town earlier, I bought some Pour 15, some rust preventative Pour 15. And this stuff is really expensive. It's like 65 bucks for one quart. But we're gonna clean up the floorboard. Since I disconnected this blower, we're not gonna have any more coolant leaking out of there. So we're gonna be able to clean this up and stop the rust for now with this stuff. And then later on, we're gonna end up replacing this floor. I'm gonna weld in new flooring. But I just want to stop all the rust so I don't have to cut out more than I already have to do. Because there is a lot of rust on this side and that side that's going to have to be cut out. But for now, we're going to cover it with this and stop all the rust. I'll check underneath the cab and see if there's any rust and I'll paint this underneath the other, on this, on the underside of this floorboard. I'll paint anything that needs to be covered in this stuff. I bought more RTV today just in case we have to change out that valley cover. Uh, we probably should do it anyway. But if we don't need to and there's no problem, then we may keep it. It's probably a good thing to change it out, but we'll see how tomorrow goes and see if everything seems good to drive. And if it's not, we'll change it out real quick and then we'll try to get the driving video in. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on what I thought this was with the foaming and maybe a head gasket leak. I'm not sure what it is, but let me know in the comments below if you guys ever seen something like this where... If you guys had low coolant, it started foaming. You just added more and it went away. It still foams a little tiny bit, but not as much as last night. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Driving video out soon, probably tomorrow. And uh, it's gonna be really exciting to finally take this truck down the road and hopefully everything goes right. So stay tuned for that video. Catch you in the next one. Dippin' Diesel, out.